An important thing to be able to do is to be able to read either a bus timetable or a train timetable like this, really in order to be able to get anywhere, um, in able to be able to transport yourself to your job or to go on holiday or anything like that. So reading a timetable is very important. Now, here is a train timetable. Uh, we have Waterloo, Clapham Junction, Surbiton, Woking and Brookwood. And we've got the times that the trains leave Waterloo and the times that they arrive at their destinations. So you will see that some of these are blank. This would mean that the 320 from Waterloo is not going to be stopping at Clapham Junction or Surbiton. In fact, its next stop after Waterloo is Woking at 346. So this is how you can read a timetable by working downwards in this case. Okay? And in some cases you're going to be asked questions based on this. So for example, if we catch the train at um, from Waterloo at uh, let's say 329 and it gets in to Woking at 403, how much time has gone by? So how long has it actually taken? Well I'm going from 329 to 1603. So using the technique of the previous video, you can break this down into looking at how long it would take to get to 4 o'clock and then how long it's going to take to get to 403. So that is 31 minutes. That is 3 minutes. So in total, this train trip is 34 minutes. Okay, so the actual trip on the train would be 34 minutes from Clapham Junction to Woking. Then let's say, um, for example, that um, someone wants to catch a train and they, want, they get in at Waterloo at, let's say, 3.15. Okay, they get into Waterloo at 3.15 and they want to get to Surbiton. Spelled wrong, Surbiton. Okay, so they want to go from Waterloo to Surbiton and they've got into Waterloo train station at quarter past three. At what time are they going to catch the next train to Surbiton? So if we look at this, the next train from Waterloo anywhere is going to leave at 20 past 3. But the 20 past 3 doesn't go to Surbiton. No, neither does the 23 minutes past 3. That doesn't go to Surbiton either. In fact, they would have to wait until 3.40 in order to be able to get to Surbiton. And they would arrive 18 minutes later at 3.58. So, little questions like these are likely to come up if you face a timetable question. But the actual technique of being able to read from a bus timetable or train timetable is a very important day-to-day -day skill.